Hello Aries, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing. Um, for those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome. And cross watchers, I say this every week, but you are definitely welcome to here as well, because this is a general reading for Aries. The roles can always be reversed. So Aries, apply it to your situation. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Just throw it away. So let's get straight into your uh, weekly love reading. Let's see what's happening currently in your heart space right now. Let's see. Who are you thinking about the most? Who's thinking about you the most? Let's see. Is there new love coming in? Um, is it from the past? Are you in connection or not? So see how this card wants to come out? It's kind of like poking its hand out. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. You've got communication coming in. Could be from long distance. These are my international cards. You probably, um, this is not for all of you, it could be in a long distance relationship or thinking someone that is overseas at the moment. Um, we do have very strong Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius here. Um, what I love, this is my favorite card. It's one of the, the luckiest cards in the deck. Something has come full circle. It is about to. And I feel like you're not aware of it yet. But in a good way like we're having something coming full circle that you know i don't know i'm getting very positive changes very i feel like there's sudden communication from someone now this person doesn't have to be overseas um they don't have to be in a long distance relationship with you um they could just be you know aries or your person you could be really feeling that emotional distance at the moment but there's communication coming in this is cupid's arrow that's love messages that's the fastest minor arcana so i just had to point that out because um something's going to come full circle a new cycle could be beginning with you and your person. Oh, wow. Okay, all the cards want to come out. There, the fool. There you are, Aries energy. <laughs> you could be dealing with another Aries, or maybe it's you know somewhere very strong in their chart. But um, I feel there with that fool card. Either you, Aries, but I'm feeling more from your person because we've got incoming messages coming uh, you know, in your direction. They're going to take that leap of faith. It's like they know it's a bit risky, but they're going to do it. So we do have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. Um, strong Taurus and Virgo energy. Could be Capricorn as well. Wow. So we have someone here. I mean, listen, male or female, it, for me, it's not important. Um, but we do have very strong feminine energy here. You could be dealing um, with someone that is a business owner, someone creative, someone that is honestly just good with their money as well. Um, you could actually also be receiving help and advice. Um, in regards to your finances, to your career. I feel like a lot of these want to go also global, like online as well. So I'm always remembering that world card as well. Um, we've got someone here that offers stability and security here. Now, normally the Queen of Pentacles is someone that is in a committed relationship or is married already. In this sense, though, I'm just getting like this person is just kind of gazing at you thinking, well, I want to be committed to you, though. So I'm getting really sweet messages from this person with that eight of wands. I feel like it's like it's just going to like warm your heart, butterflies in your stomach, like almost feeling like a teenager again. I mean, hey, why not? Beautiful. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and Judgment. Yeah, Queen of Swords as well. Lots of communication coming in. I feel, Aries, that you could actually be probably, I'm going to say 100% single. Um, hmm. Well, your person actually doesn't want you to be single. And I, I have to say it. I, I feel here that they're going to be doing it quite sneaky. Now, for some of you, trust could also be a bit of an issue here as well. Maybe your person has a hard time trusting, or maybe you do as well. This could be because of, you know, what's happened maybe in your past or their past as well. But with judgment, so we do have very strong Aquarius energy here. We've also got um, Libra energy there. I honestly am inclined to say that a person will ask you for another chance. I don't know how that makes you feel, though. But um, I'm just getting a bit of really nervous, sneaky energy here. But not in a bad way, though. With that Queen of Swords there, we've got strong air energy. Your person could actually be, um, you know, worst case scenario, they could be widowed, they could be separated, divorced as well, though. Um, and sometimes, you know, you may view this person as a little bit cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, and all that. Um, and it's nothing, it's not because, you know, they're doing it on purpose. It's because their past, whatever's happened to them in the past has kind of hardened them a bit. But let's continue. Let's put the cards down. We have three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. So you may study or you may actually work with this person as well. It doesn't have to be awkward unless they make it awkward, but um, this is their desire to be team Aries. But there's something very secretive about this with that seven of swords. So, you know, maybe if you do work with this person, maybe that's a big block as well. 
Um, there could be a third party because, you know, the threes for me always represent a third party. So it could be distance, could be work, could actually be that there is someone else. I know I sound like a broken record because I, um, I feel like sometimes, you know, Aaron's with your readings, there's always something there that's preventing a person from coming forward. So I'm crossing my fingers that, you know, with that world card that wanted to put its hands up, that now something is finally coming full circle. You can finally begin. Um, but it's, it is your person's desire to work with you, not against you. They want to be team Aries. So let's see. Yeah. Ooh, Gemini energy with the lovers. Look at that. The love is mutual. Absolutely. Now the lovers originally was called choices. There had to be a choice. Yeah. Well, one, <laughs> the four of cups is they're miserable without you. Now your person here may have disconnected from you in the past. Um, they may have rejected you. They may have ghosted you, breadcrumb you. Maybe they even led you on and that really hurt you. Um, listen, nobody likes to be rejected at all. But the love is mutual here. Now, they made a choice in the past, which they regret, okay? That four of uh, cups, Cancerian energy, they regret it. This is about being sad, despondent, worst case, depressed. Um, so I really hope they're seeking help if they are. Um, they could be over drinking here as well, though. They know this was a missed opportunity and they're like, it's like, how could I say, it's like they shot themselves in the foot and they're thinking, stupid, I can't believe I actually did this. Because um, we all know that the Aries, you know, male or female are renowned to be very, very um, attractive. So I feel like they're not coming back only because of looks though. There's a lot of emotion here. There's a lot of love towards you, but I just feel like it was instant attraction towards you. And then everything else developed though. But um, I, there's just a lot of regret on your person's part though. They're feeling on the side personally for them, very despondent, very unmotivated, very bored. They wish to have change. And I feel like it, I feel like something's going to give though. Um, we've got more Capricorn energy with that four of pentacles. So at the moment, you or your person, or maybe both of you are a little bit guarded, not really talking. Um, and if you are, it's only when necessary. It could be a little bit awkward. Um, but you must know that your person refuses to let you go. Absolutely. Um, now, the fours are all about stability, security, uh, security, and it's all about planning, strategizing. So they're doing something very quietly, though. Um, you probably have no idea about this, about making a comeback, because that judgment card is always asking about a second chance. It's that soul awakening, the aha moment. Um, they're planning something. And I'm seeing again the globe. So again, I'm, a, a lot of these actually could very well be in a long distance um, relationship here. But they're planning something in secrecy. In a good way, not bad. So don't get worried. Um, so the beating heart of your reading, we have the Knight of Coins. Mm. Knights are all about messages, changes here. Um, and they're going to be offering you something. And I feel like it's going to be something quite important, something big. Because I am looking at the bear, which is a very protective energy, but it's something big, something important, something meant to be, though. Um, and I feel like this your person has taken their sweet time. <laughs> The knight is the slowest knight out of uh, this. I mean, sorry, the knight of pentacles. This is what happens when I talk too fast. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight out of all the knights. But when this knight finally arrives, this knight, male or female, arrives correctly. They've really thought about what to say, um, especially that the refusal to let you go. That's a big one. You know, we've got all these falls here, but yeah, no, they, they refuse to let you go. And they're in major regret over this disconnection, over rejecting you or, or just saying, you know, no. Whatever happened, whatever excuse they gave you, whatever reason they gave you, um, they, it's instant regret. But now they've really, really thought about it. And they're planning something. That I, I'm going to say it. They're planning on winning you back with that lover's card. So let's continue. What's, what else do we have? Yep. So we have more fire energy here. Um, yeah. They want a passionate new start with you. And I have to say, there is a lot of passion towards you. Like a lot. There is love. There is passion here. Um, and they're, they're, like I said, they're planning something for the future here. But um, listen, we're all adults. I'm already just picking up here. There's a lot of like um, fantasies about you as well, which they only keep to themselves. I mean, I'll be not going to walk around telling people that. But um, yeah, they want to. But they want a passionate new start with you. They want to get excited again. Um, I feel like you provide fun, excitement to conversations, to situations and all that. And they don't have that right now. It may appear that they do, but they don't. Trust me, they're not happy. Four of Wands. Look at that. So that's my Twin Flame card as well. 
that's also my marriage card it's also now look at these fours four of cups four of pentacles four of wands it's all about their desire to you know provide you with security stability here or at least if they see you that's how they feel they feel secure and safe with you this is about coming together celebrating this is also a change of address could be change of job maybe you aries or your person will have to travel um, for work for example um because so i'm seeing a change of residence here as well but look at that i mean we've got the you know the happy couple there under the tent they're celebrating um, you know, basically pop the champagne. There is something here that maybe both of us need to celebrate together as well. Let's continue. What else do we have? We've got the magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. So yeah, they're trying to manifest them their way. And every time I say that, I, I always do this because it feels like they're trying to weasel their way back into your life in a good way, not in a bad way at all though. Um, but they're definitely trying to manifest a conversation, an offer. Um, and how do they do that? It's like they ruminate over and over again with that Knight of Pentacles. What I'm going to say to Aries, how am I going to approach Aries? They want to do it correctly though. We end with the hanged man. Pisces energy. Um, so they're really, really thinking about it. They haven't done any action yet. Um, I will be clarifying these cards though. I do want to see if they will be taking action though. Um, and for the, I don't know if I even mentioned this Aries, but for those that are interested, interested, there will be an extended. Um, I don't think I'm an apologies if I repeat myself, but the purpose of the extended is that I'll be going on deeper beyond the um, the messages here as well, though. Um, but they're all up in their head, they're really thinking about this. So if there's any stagnation, or if there's any stalemate, things not moving forward or back, this is only temporary. Okay, this is this is not over. <laughs> this is far from over, absolutely. Yeah, so you've got the Six of Cups at the bottom, so you, you do know this person. Absolutely, that's Scorpio energy right there. Um, there may be children involved here, Aries, maybe you have children of your own, or they have children um, of their own. Look at that, Five of Cups. Scorpio energy doesn't have to be very major regret they're feeling embarrassed ashamed um, of what they did honestly magician again they want to manifest a brand new start with you you know and really spirit is saying and um, should you want this Aries both of you have all the tools you need to make this work so whether it is a third party if it's work if it's distance if it's all of that whatever it is that's kind of interfering both of you if you kind of come together you just can overcome this absolutely and you know for those that have had personal readings with me before in the past you know I don't sugarcoat things and I don't like to provide false hope because that's just cruel um but yeah um your person's not really doing well emotionally I do want to clarify that card I mean I'll be clarifying all of them um I just want to see are they gonna do something because they're taking their very sweet time I have to admit there, there is no action here but maybe they will the world card was there so that's something coming full circle Let's see. Bottom of the deck, we've got the devil, Capricorn energy. It doesn't have to be, um, but I'm getting pretty much, I have to be, this is the card of extremes. I'm getting a lot of lustful energy towards you. I have to admit, yeah. So um, <clears throat> a bit of the obsessive energy towards you, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting that it's very quiet. They don't show it. Um, so if I see the moon, I'm, I'm not going to be surprised. But um, it's almost like no one would ever guess that this person was actually <laughs> really passionately obsessed with you. Unfortunately, though, I do. I am picking up with the four and the five of cups and the devil that your person could be over drinking as well. Like secretly over drinking just to kind of deal with it. You know, when they talk about people that are like functioning alcoholics, like something like that, you just never guess. So, I mean, I really hope they... I mean, it's not, that's not good for them. So I really hope they stop But Yeah. Oh yeah. It's towards you. There we are. See, that's, here we go. You could actually be dealing with a fellow um, fire sign as well, but look at that. I mean, this is a lot of passion towards you. Obsessive passion towards you. I feel like it's to say that they think about you is an understatement. They think about you a lot. Wow. And look at that. We've got the queen of pentacles, king of swords. We've got the hierophant. There's that five of cups followed by the Four of Swords. Yeah, they're gathering up their strength. Your person very well could be in a committed relationship, married, for example. Are they happy? No. Look at that Five of Cups there. They're miserable, though. Um, but they're viewing you really as someone that is really stable. We've got that Queen of Cups, uh, sorry, Queen of Pentacles twice, as you can see. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Whoever you're dealing with, um, they're really, I have to say, they're probably doing pretty good financial, financially-wise, 
um, career-wise as well or study. They're doing really good here. Um, but this is someone that wants to offer you security, stability, take care of you. We've got the King of Swords here as well. It's communication. The sword was pointing up, so this open communication, the desire for open communication. That's my marriage card here as well. Um, listen, if you don't want to get married or if your person doesn't want to, the Hierophant indicates it's commitment. So they see long-term with you. Yeah, look at that. So clarifying the Three of Pentacles, we have that Eight of Wands. That's the fastest minor arcana. So yeah, it's coming out again. We saw it in um, this deck, now it's coming up in this one. Got fast, fast moving energy. Um, lots of communication coming your way. Lots of love messages though. Um, but look at that, we've got that Five of Swords. Now Fives, yes, we do know they're all about um, regrets. <laughs> it is challenging, um, it is changes though. But I feel Aries, maybe you could be a little bit apprehensive hearing from this person though. Um, it's like, why now? Because sometimes the Five of Swords can indicate someone that was a bit selfish as well. Especially when we have the Devil. Um, maybe, you know, it is a card of extremes, like I said, it is a card about temptations as well. So maybe they were tempted by someone else or they were tempted to try something with you and then they pull back and, you know, kind of leaving you feeling, oh, what the hell just happened? So maybe, I don't know, I feel like maybe they're a little bit worried that you're viewing them as quite selfish, only thinking about themselves and quite cold. I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, from your person as well. Um, there, is, there could be some lies and some form of deceit, or maybe they're just lying to themselves. And you know that. But there's communication about that, about your person's actions, um, about what they did, or what they didn't do, what they should have said, but they didn't. So there's a lot of communication there um, about this. But they're really going to have to probably start all over again with you, work from the ground up. So I wouldn't rush this at all. So clarifying the lovers, we have the hanged man again and the Seven of Cups. I have to say that this disconnection, I'm feeling that it's temporary. I don't feel that this is permanent, not at all. Um, at the moment, it's just suspended in the air and it's given both of you, Aries, time to really, really think about this, about what do you want, Aries? What does your person want? Well, we already know that your person wants you, absolutely. They are worried though, worried that you have options. Um, and Aries, maybe someone else has already caught your eye, for example. Um, maybe you actually always felt like an option. Um, maybe there were too many options. Either way, it actually just because of this, it actually caused this beautiful connection. I have to say it is a beautiful connection just to kind of hit the brakes and it just it just stayed there and didn't go forward. It didn't go back though. Um, so yeah, at the moment, there could be a little bit of emotional confusion. Maybe Aries, one day you think, yeah, I'd really like to hear from this person. And another day it's like, well, they made their choice, for example. So Let's continue. Um, Four of Cups is clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Mm. So I'm kind of feeling here that either, it could be both of you, but yes, there, there, there's a choice that has to be made. We're weighing up the pros and cons here. Um, you could be actually very, very busy at the moment being, trying to balance everything. I kind of feel that your person's trying to balance the professional life and also you. They're thinking, I, I, they want these they want everything to work. They want everything to be well balanced here as well. Um, but I feel like they're being pulled in different directions, but they're going to be providing you clarity. Now I love seeing the aces. The ace of swords is cutting through all the illusions, all the challenges, all the BS, all the lies, anything to do with that five of swords, cutting through all of that, um, shedding light. And I feel like a person could be offering you, or they're planning to, because we've got that four of pentacles, offering, for example, um, an olive branch, because I am seeing the um, the dove there. I am seeing some form of an apology though, um, but it's all, you know, the ace of swords is a breakthrough. So finally, you know, no, no longer being suspended in the air, thinking, what's gonna happen? Am I ever gonna hear from this person? Or are we able to move forward, get past it, all these challenges? That's a breakthrough. Absolutely. So clarifying the Four of Pentacles, we have the Six of Swords and the Emperor. Look at that. There's Aries. There you are. So I'm just going to say it right now. Your person actually may travel to um, meet with you or maybe you travel. This is my travel card, okay, to go overseas. So maybe, I feel like the majority of you may be in a long distance relationship. Don't have to be, but this is the rite of passage because we have the Five of Swords, which is quite a challenging card. There could be also be very selfish people around your person that probably just don't want you to get together. But I see your person wanting to move into calmer waters with you. Okay, because that's Aries energy. That's you right there. Um, but I do see a person taking action, though. They're planning to take action. I feel like it's going to catch you by surprise. A pleasant surprise, to be honest. But it's just like you just probably never saw it coming, though. So 
clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Swords and we have the Three of Wands. Interesting. Aquarius energy. We've also got Aries energy here as well. I feel like they're taking their sweet time. There is something happening here. I feel like your person... Now, I'm getting two messages. Either your person has trust issues and they're coming back quite sneaky because they do want a reunion with you. They absolutely want that. Or they've done something where you probably don't trust them 100%. So you kind of, you will, I think you'll know which group you fall into, um, whether you trust this person or not. This is about lying, cheating, stealing. Could actually even be lying to oneself. Um, but it's, it's very sneaky energy. So I feel like not only are they coming back, but they're going to be doing it quite sneaky where they don't really want a lot of people to know. And this is the ship coming in. So I'm going to say possibly within three months, finally your ship's coming in Aries. And I feel like it's your person now wanting to say, okay, you know what? Can we start over again? I'm sorry. Um, I'm getting good energy from your person though. But again, I'm getting also, there's a lot of um, like internal fears, internal anxieties about this as well. Um, yeah, especially if they disconnected from you, if they rejected you or, um, I don't know, they did something here that it caused this disconnection and it's like, you, you were wondering why you've had a great thing going. I know you've definitely had, and it, this, this can be salvaged. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely. So clarifying that ace of wands, we have the 10 of swords. So see where there is a beginning, there's always an ending. And there you are the full Aries energy. Yep. So Aries, some of you actually may be uh, separated or divorced as well. So maybe do you have trust issues as well? Have you been burnt too many times? That's not your fault though. But like I always say, we cannot cut every person with the same sword, yes? Um, but yeah, see, where there is an ending, there is a beginning. So I kind of feel some of you may have been felt betrayed or backstabbed by your person. You just, this, they did something that you didn't see coming. Um, and they're going to take that leap of faith. They know it's a risky decision here because they actually probably don't know if they fully open up 100% to how are you going to receive them. Your energy is coming out very strong here. So like I said, they are thinking about you. That's an understatement. They are really, really thinking about you. And they're going to, I feel like there's like a plan of action. What I love is that the emperor, the fool, they all take action. We've got something coming towards you though. Um, so I have to admit, they're, they're, they're good, if you want this, Aries, there is a possible chance to rekindle this. So clarifying that four of wands, we have the king of cups and the two of cups. Cancerian energy, Scorpio energy there. Doesn't have to be, but there is love here. Wow. Your person actually probably does regret here not expressing their emotions. I have a feeling that they're actually a very closed off person. Not because of you. It's just the way they are. It could be past circumstances, past events here, whatever's happened. Um, as much as they love you, because they're, boy, there is a lot of love here, and you're both mirroring each other here. Um, they're not very good at expressing themselves. They do wear their heart on their sleeve, but for them to say, I love you, or um, I don't know, to really speak what's truly in their heart is a little bit difficult for them. But do they see long term with you? Do they see engagement, marriage? Yes, they do. Absolutely, though. They see adventure, they see fun with you. Um, you're definitely mirroring each other here. Deep soulmate connection, absolutely. Now's not the time to give up on each other. That's very, the simplest message for the Two of Cups is do not give up on each other. Now is not the time to give up on each other though. No, no, no. So clarifying that magician, we have Four of Pentacles again. I feel like both of you are not letting each other go. Um, that's why we have the Four of Pentacles here. And this is the card when you mirror each other. So yeah, I feel like both of you do want to manifest this and you are not letting each other go. Both of you are a little bit guarded at the moment, probably not budging. It's like, well, I'm not going to say something unless he or she says something, though. Um, hmm, Knight of Swords. Yeah, we've got fast changes. I feel like your person's going to be doing something finally. You both of you cannot let each other go. You're just not saying it. Your person's definitely not saying it, though. Um, with that Knight of Swords, though, um, I wouldn't do anything rash over the next few weeks or anything impulsive. Think about it first or how you respond. Maybe because I, I see here that maybe your person's going to be taking swift action towards you, though. That's the fastest night. So, you know, even though they're coming to you correctly, I feel like when they actually do it, it's going to be quite spontaneous, though. Um, wow. It's, I, I keep hearing that. It's like they're saying, I just want you. I don't want anyone else. I just want you. I just want Aries. So clarifying the hanged man. There it is. We've got the world. Oh my God. And you got the ace of cups. Are you kidding me? So yeah, something's going to happen. 
So the world card, one of my favorite cards, you definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, Taurus, definitely Leo energy. We've got water energy here. They want a brand new cycle with you. And if distance is a problem, it's not a problem. That's what I'm saying. Um, if you work with this person, however it is that you met this person, um, you can overcome this. Okay, this is beautiful. This is a brand new cycle. Oh, wow. One of the luckiest cards in the deck. And look at this. This is the true card of love. And look at, I mean, look at that. How beautiful is that? This is, and I will say all the meanings because it will be different for all of you. It is about getting pregnant. It is about babies, engagements, marriages, the return of health, you know, um, filling up each other's own cup with love. Um, the it's, it, I have to admit, this doesn't get any better. Finally, when things seem like it's like dragging on or, you know, we're not talking to each other or maybe this is the end. It's like, no, it's not. You've got a brand new cycle. This is beautiful. I'm getting excited now um, only because now, now when I said things are coming full circle, you've got a brand new cycle, Aries, that's about to be presented to you. I'm going to say take it because your person's coming back with the best intentions. Oh, wow. So I'm going to pause this video and this is um, mainly for those that are new to my channel. You're going to have a glimpse into your extended reading. Um, I want to find out what's going to happen now beyond. I'm going to focus 100% only on your person, their true thoughts, feelings, their intentions, desires. Well, we know that they're very, they, they desire you quite a lot. Um, what other actions will they be doing towards you? Outcome and advice for both of you is moving forward. Um, so let me pause the video and when I unpause it, you will actually see a bit of a glimpse. Just one second. Okay, Aries, as you can see, everything is different. So I have six decks. I know it looks like there's a lot to get through, and there is. Um, but in the extended, I'll be focusing 100% only on your person. So everything will be read from their point of view. So I'll be starting off with the um, Everyday Witch Tarot. I'll be clarifying with the Morgan Greer Tarot. I'll be using a mirror's uh, a mirror. Um, I just forgot her name, Amira Sal on her Love Oracle cards. We get some beautiful characteristics or personality traits about your person. Um, I'll be using the Romance Angel Oracle cards. So we get some advice and um, messages about moving forward with your person. We've got the Yes and No Oracle cards. Sometimes we also get timing here as well. My favorite deck, which is the Twin Flame Messages. So if your person right now, and I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record for those that... Um, you know, have been <laughs> there to watch my videos. But for those that are new to my channel, if your person could say anything to you right now and they did not fear judgment or rejection, what would they say to you? So I'm going to pull around six cards there and we're going to find out what is really deep within their heart. What is it that they want to say to you right now? Um, so the link to the extended is below. 100% optional as well, of course. Um, I'll see you on the other side, but if this is where we depart, Aries, I wish that honestly, and if this resonated with you, that honestly everything works out and that healing is always yours and that may true love always find you, okay? So until, uh, until next time, Aries, um, take care of yourself, okay? Bye.